man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cactus Jack! Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels podcast. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. I'm Brian Barman Peacock. I'm Jeremy the Coach Brooks. Brooks is sleeping. Oh, no. <laughs> you're about to. You look like you're comfy. No, it's resting my eyelids. He's too comfy in that corner. That's his sleeping chair. <laughs> and he does. Yeah, you used to be the one that slept during pay per views. Now it's Brooks. Well, no, I was. Because he got an older guy sitting there. That's why. I was there. I was. On no, the you're still there, you just smell something. <laughs> so, on the level of sleepiness, how was this pay per view? Was it a definite sleep, a nap, or a, a cat heavy nap. nap? A heavy nap. One of my heavy nap. And I'm just full disclosure, we skipped most of it. Thank I'm going to say the nap on a rainy day. Okay. Or you just you just now you don't want to get up. Just... I don't think that's so bad. Yes. I know, right? Next time it. I'm gonna say. Next time it rains, I'm calling out of work because I got a nap. I'm gonna say. It's the I like sign that contract. Okay, Jess, you're back on the podcast. You were complaining that I paused the podcast. Well, because it was funny. Was it funny? Oh, yeah. it was funny. Yeah. What was yeah. funny? She called me a motherfucker or a bitch. I called you a bitch, bitch. See, she called me a bitch and I called this bitch a motherfucker. <laughs> so she's a motherfucking bitch. I love being on this family podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get better. Is it a family podcast? Definitely a feckin' family podcast. I don't know why it's yeah. that's so Canadian. We are, a feckin' uh, family <laughs> podcast. I'm trying to get better, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to clean up my act. You've come a long ways from talking about trains pulling <laughs> babies no, no, out of he's, vaginas. He's yeah. had, he's had, a religious experience. Okay, is this something we should talk about? On um, our other stuff we do. Oh, okay. That's only he, that's only that stuff. Though. Is it is, a long story? He is found. He has been found. He was lost, and now he's found. I ain't found yet. I'm just trying to walk through the woods without a flashlight. No, Titus found your ass. Oh, my God. He got me on Snapchat, too. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, he's, following. He's, he's watching you. you like, Cheers. He's going to be rich. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> no, because that, then well, that, that's all we're going to talk about, because that's all I know. Uh, yeah. I don't know that's anything true. we're talking about tonight. Well, luckily, I pulled up some news. We can just get opinions from you guys. I've got opinions. Being it's... wrestling experts. I'm we an are. expert. I'm an expert. Yeah, I'm definitely on a, fucking, a freaking expert. I'm, just, I'm not, I'm not going to cuss the rest of the podcast. I'm, I'm going to have okay. Titus listen to this. I'm not going to cuss the rest of the podcast. Just stop. This 20 up. bucks says you don't cu- you cuss within the next, like, 30 minutes. I already owe somebody a dollar already, so I'm like... Have he's been hey, Brooks, if he's what listening. is uh, Ron Simmons' slogan? Darn it. <laughs> that's false and you know it. <laughs> What'd your daughter say twice Ron yesterday? Simmons. Crap. No. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get Titus on her daughter too. <laughs> That's a dollar. Your daddy owes me a dollar. Oh, I'm a clothesline, Titus. <laughs> yeah. No one knows what we're talking about. No. So let's get <laughs> let's get back to the wrestling. Find okay. our other stuff. So we watched uh, the women's Money in the Bank, which was damn good. Lots of booty bouncing around in there. You did. You did have me pause on Alexa Bliss's booty. It was just juicy. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't say by. juicy like a lot of pants say. Well, you know, Charlotte was walking I got past the ring rooms. and Alexa was standing there. It was like, you <laughs> said. You know, that rap song back in the day in, the, in Africa. And uh, then they showed Charlotte doing a flip and I got disgusted. Speaking of Africa, what do you guys think about Weezer doing a cover? So good! I think it's alright. I, mean, I think that? it's. You know who Weezer is, don't you? Oh, I like it because. the white dude? Yeah, the white dudes that play music. Oh. I think it's good because it sounds so clean because it's so modern. Right. Like, it's the old ones. You can definitely hear that it's an old recording. Yeah. And it, it's very true to the original. I love it. It is. I, I like it. I mean, it's just it's a solid song. I don't think they did their own spin on it. Yeah, it's definitely... It sounds more like a remake than a cover. Definitely. But, that, I mean, or, that's fine. That's interesting. It would be a cover versus... Yeah, technically. Yeah. It's still a cover, but... 
I got your cover. One, two, three cover, because we're talking about wrestling. <laughs> oh, I don't know anything about wrestling. Really. What is wrestling that we speak of? <laughs> the Money in the Bank women's ladder match. I thought it was good. You weren't happy with Alexa winning, though, were you? I don't care if she went. It just... You know, she was boring. Kind of. No? I just... It just, you know... You know where they're going with it. If I had it my way, Ember Moon would have won it. I would have... Yeah. Yeah, I want to... I didn't care that she won the money in the bank. I wanted Nia Jax to beat Ronda Rousey because I didn't want Ronda to get to the top so fast in front of everybody else. But basically anyone but Lana. (laughs) I just want to see Lana do her thing. Even in this match, she was bad. Yeah, she bad to the bone already. Can they just... I was going to say, can they just bring somebody from NXT up? But they brought six women from NXT up. She probably brought the whole first row up. But none of those girls were in that match. Any of the, like, riot, the riot squad or, uh... Oh, yeah, what's the, what's the other Your girl? Your girl could have been in it. Mm-hmm. No, that was, what's the girl with the, uh, the pretty butt? <laughs> what's the list? Hell, Jess. Jess is back. <laughs> Brian, you only answered that one. So, well, Sarah Bridges could have been in it. Yeah. What's the name? Sure Roxy been. Rose? Summer Rose? Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose. Summer Rose. Where the hell was going with that? Hey, you talking about a nice golden booty? That's the kind of butt you just don't want to touch. You just want to stare at it. You know what I mean? That's the kind of podcast we're doing now. Hey. The cat's getting involved. Hi, baby. Yeah, the Hi, cat's baby. here. But cat's anyway. like, please take me away from these people. What's up, but, What? Can we help you? You're yeah, standing there in silence. It's a podcast. We're just trying to leave. We'll leave. Leave. Okay. Well, we're going to have to pause the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast. I've been told we have to start over. Not I, necessarily. How do you spell stutter? <laughs> how do you spell what? <laughs> Going off the rails. Oh. How do you spell going off the rails? Why does that smell coffee? Because he's eating nasty coffee cupcake things. Coffee muffins. Chocolate chip coffee, coffee muffins. I hate coffee with a passion. You know what else I hate with a passion? What? Brock Lesnar. <laughs> There you go. Get us back on track. I thought you were going to say the B people. B people? Yeah, the B people. Who are the B people? You know, the yellow with the black stripe people. Because we're going to keep moving on. <laughs> I got to keep it PG. I can't say it. PG. G. We're going to have to pause B this B people. <laughs> I feel like there's something flying over my head. <laughs> oh, it is. And it's a bee. <laughs> like a bee. You get it. Huh? Join no. the swarm. Yeah, exactly. That's that where he's going back. Okay, yeah. So what, what, what's go. color? What's the color of a zebra? <laughs> Which was a Daniel Bryan thing back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Next, okay. So women's women's uh, money to make match. Thank you all, sucker. They go, well, yeah, that's beside the points. <laughs> I'm happy Alexa won. Brian's freaking out about something. Probably nothing podcast related. All right, let's get through this pay-per-view. It was mostly okay. All yeah, right, so it really Alexa wasn't wins. That bad. Alexa wins. It was a good match. The women beat the hell out of each other. God damn it, Brian, just do it. <laughs> this is the worst podcast of all time. <laughs> it's been a while. I, I like that you realized you were like, oh, oh, I don't no. think the, the, this, you know, a podcast we ever do would be the one we did last time. Why, what was wrong with the one last time? I know it's called We're Recording a Podcast in all caps, so no, it must have been really one. bad. The one when I was drinking. <laughs> oh, that wasn't the that was last the one. <laughs> That's the last one we did from, you know, the recent one. <laughs> yeah, no. Have you been drinking since then? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How many podcasts we did since the one that I did my story about Joe Rogan? At least three. I haven't been here then. Have I been here? Maybe I was. was. Have any of us been here? I'm talking know. about with us, not the other podcast stuff. Yeah. We haven't done one since that one. I don't know. I don't know anymore. As well as this damn Because I, 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 I got exciting day. stuff here I want to get to. Well, get to it. So I got a so, vanilla cookie scented candle down there. I'm about to light. Yeah. Did you shoot yourself? <laughs> just because. Did he shoot himself again? No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just about to light it because that's just 
the track this podcast has been on. <laughs> it's, what? Go ahead. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get a trolley horse on my leg. I'm keeping us on track. We're not listening to the you don't show up. Everyone thinks we're high now. <laughs> Maybe we are. We just watched the pay-per-view oh, for four hours. Damn. No, we didn't. Actually, two hours. We watched, <laughs> we watched a four-hour pay-per-view in 45 minutes. <laughs> we did. Oh, my God. That's what we need to start doing. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. AJ Styles attracts Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke's fun. entrance was the best part of that. Yeah. Is, that is that shit finally over? What? No, them two? Yeah. Christ, I hope so. I'm sick of it. Holy crap, they fought like 80 times after WrestleMania. And it's all been like kicking each other in the dick. It's like, you know, I can't get my wife going. That match ended with him kicking Nakamura in the dick. That's That's, how they do it in Georgia. I guess. So, this is another match. So watch it. Guys is going to kick you in the dick. He probably would. Josh would. For sure. sure. (laughs) Well, Josh has to where he work at. Oh, no, fair enough. Um, and then the uh, men's money. Oh, no, we watched the Ronda Nia Jax match, which Ronda's better than what she should be. Yeah, but Nia Jax is pushing old. Yeah. But Nia's a hell of a competitor for her size. Nia deserves it. You know that. And she like her WrestleMania match was the best match she ever had. Okay. Now she's going to wrestle like that against her? You know what that means. This is now a triple threat because what happened was Ronda was about to get the win. I know for a fact she no, was. I don't think she wasn't. We'll never know. But Alexa Bliss, who won Money in the Bank early in the night, uh, hit Ronda, ended the match, started a new match, and defeated Nia. No, I don't like how it ended, but okay. Now, I think it would have been better had Ronda beat Nia and then uh, Alexa beat Ronda. Because that would have been a bigger deal for Alexa to beat Ronda. Because that would have humiliated Ronda. So basically we're just pushing the hijacks out of the picture? Don't need to. It can still be triple threat. If them, if if you got Alexa Bliss and Ronda Rousey, what's the point of having the hijacks? Uh, just to add another element to it. Just to it'd be a triple threat feud. So basically the hijacks being put in Italian at that. Being what? <laughs> Nia Jax would be with Natalia if that keeps going. No, the, the, not. Think about it. Nia's young. She's still got plenty of years to go. Yeah, well, think about it, though. Who are the two moneymakers out of them three? Oh, Ronda and Alexa. It could be Nia, though. It's, if they get it right. Ronda's involved. That's fair. And all that. And, look, and she already had a championship match in her second match. That is a bit of bullshit. And that's that's why I don't, I don't care for it. I, like, you know, it pisses me off. And then I, I don't back. care about I don't care about Alexa Bliss. No. How? No, I don't care that she won the money. Oh, oh okay. No, that. But I really see her feud with Nia Jax. And that kind of goes back to like what Joe Rogan was saying. Like he's not happy about CM Punk being and what? triggered. <laughs> Brooks <laughs> his feud with Joe Rogan. But you it's know Joe Rogan. Imagine. <laughs> Yeah. Where he interrupted <laughs> your, when he interrupted your watching with Paw Patrol. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing. There, but I got a story, but, I'm not but anyway, going. Joe Rogan said that he was upset with CM Punk being so featured in a UFC pay per view. Joe Rogan is so CM Punk did. There but it go. makes sense. It's the same reason why we're upset with Ronda Rousey being so featured. Except CM Punk is literally not good at MMA. CM Punk no, can pick up a fucking ukulele and start playing on the side of fucking street in Chicago. The motherfucker's garbage. And I'm sorry for cussing. I last at least 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Now, now you owe, you owe yeah, just totally $20. That part. <laughs> you're going to owe Titus. Who knows? Just proof. Titus ain't going to listen. And I'm not bleeping out all these cuss words. I know you're not. I'm going to send it to Titus. You would. Dude, I'll, I'll just cut out a clip, put it up on uh, Instagram. <laughs> Damn fuck shit. Damn, it was super cut. Oh my god, right? Damn, damn fuck shit. He'll do a super cut. Yeah. Absolutely. He doesn't care. He'll cuss like crazy. Yeah, Titus does Titus knows. No one Uh, knows who Titus uh, is. uh, Now Titus has to be on the wrestling podcast (laughs) one day just so people know. No, he doesn't. No. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, and then the the men's money in the bank match, which was awesome. It was good. Um, 
Yeah, it's up its ups and downs. I like that they buried Braun at the very <laughs> like beginning. On a ladder. That was that was fantastic. I, I wanted to see Kevin Owens yeah. jump on a uh, Finn Balor on the table. Thank you for bringing that up because I mentioned this during the show. I hate that he did that twice because Kevin Owens' whole character is like he's a family man. He's only worried about the money and the belts, and that's all he wants. He's and a prize was, fighter. That was NXT. Uh, 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 He's done uh, it on the main uh, roster too. The titles, the championships. Damn, yeah. they're not belts. You're right. Just don't hold up your pants. He's all worried about you the championships. He's worried pants. about the money. You He's... better not get sued by him for saying the wrong words. I might. Hey, bring it on. Oh, I'll, I'll just call CM Punk. Oh, oh, oh wow! <laughs> that will help. You know, throw some paint on him. He won the, the trial. That's right. What trial? We're gonna talk about that a little bit. Oh. Did he have um, to go through? I'm about to say, he's a LARPer too? <laughs> Good <laughs> lord. Everything's going to revert back to LARPer. It really is, Jacob. We saw it. Brooks is too into it now. Okay. Oh, <laughs> speak. Okay. We, stop, stop, stop. No, nope, no. Nope. Nope. Here we go. Here, here's what? some more LARP information for you, right? Oh, shit. So Crap. we're sitting here. I think it was yesterday. Um, and Jess holds up. She had some cat socks. Oh, my goodness. So she holds up these socks. And he's like, what are those? A belt flag? And for those of you who don't you live know, here now, Brooks. Is he no, live here now? no, Alana wanted to come play around. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, belt flags are flags that you wear on your belt to show what group you're a part of. Because you're stupid and you don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't get it. Um usually they're they're like uh just to tell who you're with or awards or whatever. And yeah, he thought a pair of socks were belt flags. This is coming from a man who said, I ain't doing this shit. Damn. In quote. So I, I don't to like make you happy. I don't like Kevin but Owens kept doing it to make you happy. I don't like the <laughs> not selfish <laughs> Kevin Owens. This is what happens when the Lart brothers are on a podcast. Right. So I but Kevin Owens, the character, would not jump off that ladder because he doesn't want to get injured because then he won't be able to fight for his family. And he won't be able to compete for the championship. You are so into Kevin Owens right now. Uh, Kevin Owens is like the best. God damn, you talking about us and LARP and listen but to you. That's the thing though, like, if wrestling's gotta be interesting, the characters gotta be characters. They yeah, gotta be consistent. Yeah, and NXT. They can't be on the main roster too. There's no but reason why they can't. But that's why people But it's don't... just like you mentioned earlier, didn't Finn lose his belt and never got another fucking yeah, shot at got, it? Yeah, he got injured, never lost the belt. Should Finn Balor's whole gimmick be... But Daniel Bryan... That Daniel Bryan had the same thing. He won yeah. it back at WrestleMania. But Finn Balor's whole gimmick right now should be, I deserve it. But his whole gimmick is like, just give me the money. His whole gimmick is just, I'm here. He ain't never going to get another title shot. Cause they, put him in, they put him in all these matches where yeah. he can win it, but he don't win it. He never does. He comes so close. It's like the ant that almost reached the bug that's dead until the damn freaking snake comes to eat it. Yeah, I don't understand it. That's weird. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> I don't know. The ant and the snake. So, what you guys would rate this as a good pay-per-view, considering we didn't watch all the other shit like Roman and Jinder Mahal for some reason? You know what? I'll say this. If we'd have watched the whole thing, I would have said it sucked. Yeah. But the parts we watched, well, I missed one match. Yeah, that one was pretty good. Was it good? Yeah, it was all right. I don't, AJ one out of ten. Yeah. yeah. One out of ten, I gave it a seven- Probably of what we eight. saw. Yeah. 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 It was a seven, seven and a half, something like that. Because the only reason why they're not getting a ten is because they don't have no freaking pyro. I tried to make up for it, damn it. I think they tried to with AJ Styles music because I ain't never heard his boom. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. I ain't never heard that before in his music. I think at least the champions should get pyro. I think they should do pyro on every pay per view. Should. It's once a month now. I think they should do pyro all the time. Speaking of once a month, that's probably what this podcast is going to be. <laughs> yeah. You should bring that up now. We'll bring it up at the end as well. But yeah, the podcast, we're probably switching it to a monthly podcast. We, we are too busy. We are. Yeah, like everybody right now, we are so busy. And I've if you got want a... one more of me, you can go listen to Future Gamers podcast because that's going to be a weekly podcast because I'm not busy like these fucks are. I've, I had to get a planner. <laughs> I saw that you were writing a planner earlier. I thought it was for work. And I, no, got my freaking, for... I got my Google Maps calendar 
And it's Damn. full to the max. Yeah, like we are full on scheduling things out. This this is also something I learned from Titus. You can even check all that out at facebook.com slash the Lord Brothers. I believe so. Yeah. Yes, it's the Lord Brothers. Lord, yeah, Lord Brothers. Dude, I about raged against the Facebook the other day. Did you see the post I made about just our general pages, you know, your page, my page, I all did, that yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. I could not link the LARP Brothers. Huh. I kept putting at the LARP Brothers and nothing came up. I had to go on my computer to do it. Oh, okay, yeah, that does not work on your phone sometimes. Why? You have more likes than most of my pages. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I have a really hard time at, uh, like, tagging people or tagging things that aren't people on my phone. I have to I do don't, them. except the LARP Brothers. Oh, I couldn't. I can't ever tag anything that's not a person. I've never had that problem until your page came, huh. came around. Well, then, damn it, Facebook. Yeah, it's aggravating. We're going to rage against the Facebook. Do, do, do. All right, so the pay-per-view was all right. You guys need to watch NXT TakeOver Chicago, too. Yes, if I get two hours to actually watch TV. That, let me, we'll let me check my calendar. Like in it's, September. That is a show that goes up. Like, it's so... Well, that's simply how the NXT pay-per-views are. Starts very high and gets better. Right. Um, Christmas afternoon, it looks like I might have some time to fit that in. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm booked. <laughs> that's what my, that's all my damn I'm, I'm schedule booked, I'm is. booked over to New Year. Yep. God, we are busy. Busy, busy bees. What we got next? Uh, so we're going to get into oh, the news you're now. You're asking me. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, you're not doing your fucking LARP <laughs> meeting right now. No, I'm asking you. <laughs> we better hurry up because it's about to turn into one. Yeah, I know. Uh, so, big news, Ring of Honor is going to have a show at Madison Square Garden. Bullshit. It's true. Good for them. They're going to have a show sometime next year. The exact date right now is not known. That's pretty cool, though. And uh, TakeOver will be on the same night. Of course it will. That's, that's wild. I think WWE is the only wrestling promotion that's been in Madison Square Garden. Because it's the only successful one that's even tried. Started, no, I think they had a deal with them. It started off in uh, Madison Square anyway. Do you think this has something to do with WWE saying, let our friends in? You know, go ahead and let them do a show in Madison Square Garden? Because they obviously have a relationship with those people. I think that WWE is scared that New Japan and everybody going to gang up on WWE and murder them. Funny you should say that about New Japan. Uh-oh. Because Triple H recently... Let me Chain one. Triple H, let's see. Uh, there's an interview with Sunsport in the UK where they talked about multiple promotions. And uh, he said, we're open to doing things with anybody or anything. We have an alliance with Progress in the UK, a situation with ICW in Scotland, to very well run and respect your promotions that do good business. So he's open to doing uh, crossovers. He's scared. It, I don't think they're scared. I think he's just embracing the rest of the wrestling community. He's scared. Do you think he's scared? <laughs> I don't I think, think that's just scared. a bad way of putting it. He's scared. No. I'm just being uh, the B word right now. He's scared. I think he, I think, yeah, I think he's just like, all right, this is what people want, you know? That's okay. it. Like, All right, listen, I'm going back to the W. That's true. Right, all right. That's true. If WWE, WWE, no one's ever going to surpass WWE. I think ever. Oh, I think so. It would take generations. Yes. Like It's going to take generations. Yeah. It's not going to happen overnight. Unless Triple H says, we'll play ball with everybody. And I think that keeps them at the very, that very top. That would never top. happen because they will, as soon as somebody comes, they will screw them over. I think Vince McMahon might screw him over. Like, I don't look, think Triple H would. Look at everybody that's in NXT. Look at how they go to the main roster. I don't think that... I still, like, I hate being... sounded like on the internet. I really think that's because of Vince and the writers. Because Triple H has complete control in NXT. He does right. not have complete control in the main roster. Right. If NXT became the main roster... That would be amazing for everybody. Like, if NXT was on Monday night... Yeah. You know, for three hours... I'll watch the whole three not, hours. I'm not even saying NXT... Uh, I don't want it for three hours. 
We don't need three I'm, hours. I'm just, of I'm just saying though, like of that quality. If it, if it took raw spot, it doesn't need to take raw spot. It just needs to have the writing quality of NXT. It's still Monday Night Raw. But it's, even if they, if if the writers went, or or to, just get rid of all the writers. <laughs> we need writers. If the NXT writers went to Raw, it still won't work because Vince is still in control of that shit. Vince don't want all that shit they do in the NXT on Raw. Right, Vince has to go, and that's, the sooner the XFL starts up, the better. But he, if the XFL starts up and that's still successful, he ain't leaving WWE. I think he is. That's just more money in his pocket. Well, no, of course he, like he's always gonna, he's not gonna leave WWE, but he is going to let the creative control go to. I don't Triple really, H. He won't. He'll probably give him like thirty percent. He'll keep the rest. Maybe everything that they he'll have, have final gotta, say well, yeah. always. Well, yeah. yeah. Until he's dead. And he'll probably still be calling the shots from hell. Somehow. Or hell, wherever he mm. goes. I was going to say, I don't know where this buddy's going. Yeah, he already killed a lot of them. Never mind. Well, shit, he's a zombie but anyway. That's I it. think as long as Triple H and WWE in general plays ball with everybody, WWE is going to get elevated, but so is everyone else. All right. Let me, let me clarify what I was saying. Okay. If Triple H was in charge of the whole kit caboodle, and Triple H said, hey, New Japan, hey, Ring of Honor, hey, PWG, hey, so-and-so, hey, so-and-so, let's collaborate. Let's work together and let's take over this wrestling business and make it one. I'll be like, I'm in. Yeah. But Vince is still here. And I don't think it's like uh, all the time collaboration. I think it's exactly how they're doing it right now. It just needs to be better. But yeah, like, I, 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 would, I would love to see the Bullet Club air all of them in New Japan one night, then show up on SmackDown all together and just ruin shit, then go back to, you know. Yeah. That would be freaking badass. That would be amazing. You know, but we'll be dead by the time that shit happens. But that's exactly what they're doing in Ring of Honor. Like, yeah. we were back in the day in Ring of Honor and... Uh, uh, what's that hardcore promotion with the yellow colors? ZWD. Oh C- shit! What C- I say? Whoa! <laughs> wow. C- CZW. Jesus Christ! What I say? You just had a stroke. Uh, CW. UPN. CW forty four. UPN. The fuck is that? Is that the frog? UPN. CW forty four. I'm going to take a nap. Oh, WGM. Yes. Chicago night. Back in the day, Shit. Ring of Honor and CZW did that crossover thing, and they regularly had guys go from one show onto the other and, like, fuck shit up, and they ended up having, like, a big faction war, and guys like Cesaro or Claudio Castagnoli at the time ended up switching to Ring of Honor. That stuff's great. Like, if we if they ever brought back the hardcore title, just bring in hardcore wrestlers to do the hardcore title. It's the, if the pretty boys don't want them to do it. I don't think we'll ever get hardcore wrestling again. I think it, I think if they did, it <laughs> saying that, you should watch NXT Takeover Chicago too, because <laughs> Gargano and Ciampa are fucking hardcore, and it works. Yeah. So, I, but it has to work under that circumstance. Uh, right. But I think if they brought back a hardcore title, shit, Nakamura and AJ Styles are pretty hardcore tonight. They beat the hell yeah. out of each other. Was that blood? No. No hardcore. Okay. <laughs> um, you don't see that much blood anymore, no so we can't consider anything hardcore about blood. No, but we, we've had that talk already about blood plenty of times. Obviously. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, they, they need... If, if they just play ball with everybody, they play nice, I think it'd be great. Because right now they're doing that with letting Pete Dunne and whoever go over to Progress and ICW and all this stuff. And, you know, and it's like, awesome. Like you said... Triple H take over it'll happen and it makes headlines tri- every you know single what? time Triple H been saying it since he bone Stephanie what's best for business <laughs> you know I think it is best for business too I think it is too if something like that happened but if it don't I think all these other uh, promotions are gang up at one you know cause I think there are plenty of wrestling fans out there that hate the WWE but they do watch stuff like Progress and New Japan and if somebody like like who's a homegrown WWE Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman goes over to Progress and fights the biggest dude there. Those people at Progress that don't like WWE might go, 
I like this Braun guy. Or if you got if you got Cody Rhodes coming in raw, if you yell at Braun Strowman and going back where he is. Da 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 then Braun Strowman go where Cody Rhodes is. Dude, Cody coming over to feud with anybody. I'm telling you, man. Just Kenny that, Omega, anybody. That shit needs to happen. It's Kenny right Omega now. and Cody Rhodes versus AJ Styles and Finn Balor. Kenny Omega versus You with me on this one? I don't know. Velveteen fucking dream. Just me? Yeah. Aren't no, <laughs> no, am I not going to watch it? No, I'd watch it. Who? Okay, okay. If they, dream, if, dream match, every promotion versus a WWE guy. Wait, 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 wait. If that match walked through the door right now, <laughs> and I looked at him, I'd be like, all right. <laughs> That's two dollars. <laughs> How much? Two. You said two. Goddamn. Two. Tyler, say, listen, so I'm good. You this is one. the inside joke podcast. <laughs> good idiot. What do you mean inside joke? I say it every time we over here. Oh, on the podcast though. Well, this is the first time we actually did on the podcast. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that was pretty good at both. If you if you could have a dream match between anybody from a promotion and someone in WWE, who would it be? Kenny Omega, Kevin Owens. Yeah, Why it'd not? be great. Or Kenny Who's Omega. the top guy in WWE right now? It's Roman. Nobody, who knows? Oh, it's Brock. <laughs> who knows? If it's Brock, it's the one that's not there. You know, there's a problem when I'm like I'm scanning my brain for the WWE roster and it's Brock like, doesn't come up. <laughs> Who, who's who, all right? Who is the top dog? Who is the, like the man in WWE right AJ. now? AJ. It's got to be AJ Styles, other than Brock. But AJ's also faced a lot of guys in Japan, so that's who's okay. the second best. Exciting. Um, who, who Braun? It has right, to be Braun. Let, let, let me ask this: If New Japan said, "Give us your best guy besides AJ to come and fight out Kenny Omega," who will you pick out of Raw and SmackDown besides AJ? And Nakamura, because they, you know, kings over there. I think Braun. I think my answer is going to surprise you. Okay. So it's. All right, so give me the question one more time, though, to make sure I got it right. New Japan says, give us your best guy to fight Kenny Omega at Wrestle Kingdom. No, th- that wasn't the question. Oh, well, shit. Well, you. Oh, his question. No, your question. So, a WWE guy versus oh, oh, oh. from any promotion. Where is the match happening? Uh, let's say WrestleMania. Okay. So, what I would like to say, I would like to see a triple threat. Okay. I'm in. I'm in already. Go ahead. I said triple threat. <laughs> I knew you'd be in for it. All right. So. Triple threat mania. Oh God. So. <laughs> Give it to me. Not all. That's gonna surprise you. Come on. Three hours later. This is why nobody listens to me. Yes. Brian. So, first contender. Give this man enough coffee cup. John Cena. I'm okay. out. I'm out. No, I, I knew okay. that is going to throw everyone for the curveball right now. Dude, Kenny Omega ball. just recently, somebody asked him the best wrestlers in the world, and one of them was John Cena. Yeah, so, John Cena no, I want... Listen, now, listen, listen, listen. listen. Fucking, fucking, I want yeah. John Cena. Okay. Kenny Omega? Nope. Oh my God. Okay. Versus Dalton Castle. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Versus Tanahashi. Why would Tanahashi, you want, not Okada? Why would you want to put a stiff master with them? Would that not be no. the most bizarre, amazing match ever? No. John Cena too stiff for all that crap, man. Too no, I don't want to see any goddamn wrestling in this match now. <laughs> this is not about skill here. This is just I want to see these three interact with each other. <laughs> just in general. Yes. For the rap battle. So why not do a table for three show? No. Nope. He's got to be in the. He's got to be a wrestling match. I don't oh, want to like see any pa- goddamn wrestling. In rock it. paper scissors. Whoever loses got to fall to the mat. Now, okay. Now, granted, Tanahashi's probably gonna. He's probably hey, the most. Dude. I don't want to say, no, because Dalton Castle would throw down. 
Yeah. And Cena's learned a couple extra moves now. Yeah. So he's got three or four. Yeah, he's going to jump off the rope and do a stunner. <laughs> so, but that that's what I would... Like, that's what I want. Not, like, a title match at WrestleMania, but, like, pre right before the title main event. I would not watch that. All because of Cena. I... See, now I'm rethinking everything. Now I want... This is my triple threat. A uh, triple threat mania. It's John Cena, Kenny Omega, and you ready for this one? Zack Sabre Jr. What? What's what up? the hell? What? <laughs> What's up with y'all and, and John Cena? Because Cena is damn good. And he's is a shit. face of WWE. He's a face of an ass. No, see, I picked the three faces of the, the companies. Yeah. Was Tanahashi the face? I believe. I, yes. I don't I, think I, Okada or Omega. Nope, I don't think so. Hmm. Alright, here's my three. Kenny Omega. Cesaro. What's that one dude you said? Dalton Castle? Castle. Dalton Castle. Now, if you're going on skill, let me watch that. Wrestling. I want to see all the wrestling in that match. Yeah. I want to know how many times the crowd chants, thank you. Because you put Cesaro People. in a spot like that, he will show up. Yeah. To give Cesaro the worst match in the world. No, I forgot about my gonna... boy. No, neither. No, we didn't no, forget. Shit. That, I don't even know what the fuck he is. Put Cesaro in a match against the worst. Put him in the match against Enzo Mori, and he's going to make that dude shine. You know Cesaro could carry a match with Enzo. He carried freaking... Anybody. I saw him carry freaking... What's that Indian dude name? Jinder Mahal? No, the other one. Great Polly? Yeah. I see him carry him around the damn ring. Literally. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, we, we spent a long time on that topic inadvertently. Uh, and speaking of... Well, I mean... I think this guy will be a face of the MVP one day. Keith Lee showed up at uh, NXT TakeOver Chicago. Keith Lee? Too. Keith Lee! Keith Lee. And uh, Triple H was asked what his plan for him was. And he said, I think I'm going to let him land first. I saw Keith Lee walk through the entranceway at the arena this afternoon and stood on the same spot on the stage while we were uh, walking through rehearsals for about an hour with just a blown away look on his face. I think it's going to take a minute for Keith Lee to land on the ground. But once he does, I'm expecting big things from Keith Lee. He's a phenomenal talent. Big dude that probably shouldn't be able to do the things that he does. He's a phenomenal talent. I can't wait to work with him. Our team our team to work with him to help him take everything that he's done so far and just take it to a whole nother level. I agree, man. He's Keith Lee is so damn good. Yeah. I can't wait to see what he does. I think a while back it was rumored that he was going uh, to WWE, and then it fell through, and yeah, that's, that's why I hate rumors like that. Mm-hmm. He was like, "Well, it fell through. Keith Lee's not going," and then he fucking shows up at NXT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who the fuck are these rumors coming from? Who knows? Yeah, maybe well, we should just start making rumors. Yeah, you know what? That's what we need to do. We need I to start writing right now. I slept with Alexa Bliss. It's happened. Our, our rumors have to be believable. So we're going to start making... Oh. We're to start making... Uh, Why do you think uh, they call me Trapper, motherfucker? He has a point. And that's what he used on Alexa Bliss. That's, that's why she didn't listen. I'm going to drop this. I've, I've got some more. I can go into it, but I won't. Do it. Because I'm not that kind of person. Oh, Wakanda my ass, bitch. I don't even want to hear Wakanda it. Wakanda forever, bro. I feel you struggle. <laughs> I get it, I get Speaking it. Speaking of struggle, struggle, Brock Lesnar is Speaking not scheduled of, uh, for any WWE events. I can't say it, but got him right around the damn leash up there in Minnesota. What hey. the fuck? A damn diesel. That's a Cummins motor. That's a goddamn jet plane outside. <laughs> JJ with a jet plane outside. <laughs> you know who it is? We're recording a podcast. Is that Joe Rogan? <laughs> Joe Rogan's here to beat your ass. He found us. <laughs> if that motherfucker walked No, you wouldn't hear him coming because he's a bow hunter. You know what? He's a bow hunter. Me too. He'd just be dead. I'm a bow hunter too. I can smell people. I got good. I, I, got good I can smell people too. Okay. I try not to. I got good vision. I, like when I went back in the backyard, I saw three houses now. Isn't that a bunch of bullshit? Brock Lesnar is not signing up for any events. He's a, he, no, 
that one. One, this is the greatest gimmick ever. It really is, for, like, him. No, yeah. it sucks. Exactly. You mad about it? No, I don't even care about it. That's what I think. I'm past the point of being mad. I was mad when Roman was facing him at what Mania, mm-hmm. and they actually got people to root for Roman. <laughs> That's when Roman should have won the belt. I don't even really care no more. Brock, who? Pretty much. Supposedly he's gonna fight at a UFC pay per view. That motherfucker better at least have the WWE belt with him. It's like he probably won't. He won't take that in that UFC. But that would make it worth it, kind of. No, he would, they would never do that. And I, and I say kind of because I don't think UFC fans give a fuck about WWE. Because that, that's, that's bad news if that happens. All, you think all them, all, I think it's just indifferent news. All the UFC fans hate WWE. If he walks in that arena with that championship belt, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. It's already right, bad night. He ain't never showing up. And it's like, we have money in the bank matches for what? You can't yeah. even pick a champion. Yeah. Because you don't know what the fuck is going to come. Braun is the, he's the money in the bank, monster in the bank, as they called him. I love it's that. It's like, Braun, I'm going to come back at WrestleMania 52. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Nuka Bomb won't kill have, us by then. We have one championship, you know, main championship belt right now. And it's on SmackDown. It's like, Raw screwed. Now, Brooks, you did say earlier that you wish there were more belts. Yeah, I wish they'd bring at least like two more belts back. I got news for you, bud. What? <laughs> uh, this was announced today at two o'clock. There's a, gonna be another NXT. Well, I guess it's kind of it's kind of what you're talking about. Another NXT. There's gonna be an NXT UK. They're gonna have it's gonna be part of the. They're gonna have the UK Championship, UK Tag Championship, and UK Women's Championship. Are they gonna have like another WWE for just for UK? NXT UK. We'll showcase wrestling's top talent in the United Kingdom and Ireland with three championship titles being up for grabs. So are they going to have like an invasion of the United States? I hope so. Wouldn't that be like the whole fucking point of this thing? That'd be badass. That would be cool. NXT UK versus NXT America. And we don't have time to watch shows as it is. Now we're going to have another NXT show. But I know uh, the one chick... That we liked from the, the women's tournament that has the uh, uh, Storm, Tony Storm. Yeah. She got signed as NXT UK talent. Yep, I just saw that. So she had a triple threat match tonight. So. I think it was tonight. I don't know who the other two were. So that's exciting. They're, they're, hopefully, eventually, we get an NXT Japan. That would be neat. And then they can really cross over New Japan then. Mm. We'll that's see. Like, that's the only if Triple H runs at all. Yeah, the big if. And uh, I think the last thing we got to talk about is CM Punk won his court case against WWE. Now, what what was his court case? What did he do? Uh, the court case was about uh, after Punk left, he did the podcast with um, with uh, oh Cole. my god, Cole Cabana, uh, and they talked about how Punk was mistreated by the doctors because he had a giant bump on his. Oh, okay, back. I remember that. Yeah, what I yeah, yeah. That's the and uh, it was. They just kept telling him, like, oh, just take Z-Packs, just take Z-Packs, just take Z-Packs, it'll go away. Punk had AJ Lee's doctor look at it, and it turned out to be a major infection. Right. And they had to do a bunch of shit to it and get rid of it. Yeah, they had to do what they did with my back. Yeah, that's right, yeah. They had to drain it and shit. They had to put me to sleep with the same shit that killed Michael Jackson and Prince. Jesus. And do, like, a four-hour surgery just to clean all that shit out of me. I think that's similar to what they did for Punk. That shit would kill you. It's a, it's, it's a real, real bad infection. And yeah. basically, uh, Dr. Aban from the WWE, who was, huh. it's his responsibility to What's take care of these Amon? guys. Um, Aman, a man. <laughs> M-A-A-M-A-N. He will hire someone that live in Black Diamond. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's an inside thing. <laughs> I do a lot um, of parties back there. Because they talked about it on Colt's podcast... He felt like it was slander and liable, and they were just talking shit about him. Even though they never mentioned him by name. Mm-hmm. So he took Punk and Colt Cabana to court. And then, you know, however many years it's been later... So he took on to court because he thought they was talking shit about him? Yeah, it's a defamation lawsuit. Oh, I'm about to say, damn, Brian talks shit about me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
done for me. Why do you think I do this podcast? I'm gonna sue the fucking both of you. <laughs> you want? You can have what I got. It's like goddamn nothing. I got two fans. I bought. The the, um, <laughs> the lawsuit was in excess of one million dollars against Punk and fellow wrestler Coca Bana uh, from the podcast in 2014. Um, oh, one awesome thing we got out of this court case is CM Punk had to testify, and part of him testifying was testify. he had explained his whole character, and he had explained what CM meant. Oh. It officially, what it's canon now, stands for Chick Magnet. <laughs> I knew it. Chick Magnet Punk. Because he was part of the Chick Magnet tag team when he first started. That's funny. So it's canon. Chick Magnet is canon. That's the name of the podcast. <laughs> the episode. <laughs> uh, and that's, I think that's pretty much it. Um, Did you say something else was on trial? Or did Trial? Did a doctor? You said a doctor sleep with somebody? Oh yeah, and the doctor was sleeping with Jillian Hall. Who the hell is that? The I think it's Jillian Hall. I closed it already. <laughs> Damn. Um, he he was sleeping. I think with Jillian Hall, she and did. that's it's Jillian Hall. It's the the ring announcer lady. I thought it was Jojo. the one that's been there forever. No, the one Jojo's replacing. Ain't that Garcia? How do you not know who Jillian Hall is? I thought it was Jillian Garcia. Do you know who Jillian Hall is? Of course. <laughs> You're that confident? No, I think so. <laughs> oh, I never heard of that. One of the ring announcers, right? Yeah. yeah. She's, She's just, just like saying like the... Jacob just said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure. Like, I couldn't. I don't remember at She's all. blonde. She's kind of older. I, don't, I couldn't pick her out of a lineup, but, like, yeah, I knew yeah, Jillian I'm, Hall. I ain't like, never heard of that name. Well, they were sleeping around apparently, and that's against like company conduct. I, guess, I think it came out during the court case. Well, ain't that like what everybody else doing? Look at probably JoJo and uh, Bray Wyatt. But with the doctor, it's uh, an issue because he might favor her, might prescribe her medicine to keep her happy, and stuff like that. It's really, I think, it's more of the, your doctor should not be dating his Damn, patients. She's struggling. She's fucking the doctor to get pills, dude. I'm just saying, hey, it is what it is. Thank you for listening to this podcast, guys. <laughs> this one's been off the walls. We've had a few like this. And the podcast now is probably pretty much going to be monthly during the pay-per-views. We'll get together and do a show. Unless things change and we just decide to start doing it more often. And then we'll just change it then and we'll keep you updated. Stay tuned, bitches. Until then, oh fuck, we all have stuff to talk about at the end of the podcast now. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> Until then, uh, there's plenty of places to see us. You guys have started a new thing. I think you've talked about it at the end of the podcast before, but now it's really it's really going now. Because you are. do the weekly live streams and everything. It feels like a more legit the thing now. Like the first time. To me, at least. It the is established. Like we have... Time. Fans, we have people demanding. Somebody flash me. Stuff. We got, it, then I woke up. He's having dreams <laughs> that we're. <laughs> so what is what is the name of your your Facebook page? So you can find us. Uh, we are the Lark Brothers. Lark Brothers. Yeah, LP. Put the L's up. LP. Do you know how to spell brother? <laughs> what I say? We are, the, <laughs> we are the Lark Brothers. Hey, I'm tired. Let me know. LP. God damn it, Brooks. I'm tired. Um, never gonna be a professional podcast. We, yeah, I wasn't planning on this shit. Oh, I'm on me. We do live action role play podcast video, not podcast. We do Maybe. videos, live videos. We won't we participate. Start doing some, some skits, and live stuff like videos that. every Wednesday, right? Uh, yeah. Every Wednesday at eight thirty, we About do a live video. Facebook.com we'll slash the Lark Brothers. We need um, to get you guys a fucking Twitter account. An Instagram. Yeah, we're going to do the Instagram. We're, we've been talking about Twitter. We've been talking about a lot of things. But we're talking about Twitter. Not too sure. Um, but definitely need an Instagram. Uh, we'll get one soon. That's just another thing I have to take care of. Besides running an entire park myself. Well, you know I can run your social media shit. That's true. 
<laughs> That's what I'm here for. So we'll we'll get that straightened out. You just gotta be like, hey, I dumped a bunch of pictures in the Google Drive. Put them up. Right. And I will put them up. Just like when you guys recorded the video from Mid Rain, which is up on Future Villains, I wow. edited that shit and got it out, including Brooks running the fuck away. That's so <laughs> so the best. <laughs> that that's probably that or the the Georgia video is is my favorite videos I've edited of your guys. We're funny. <laughs> I, I enjoy editing it. Also, it's annoying editing it because it's like I have to put all of this in, <laughs> and uh, that sucks a little bit. But it also ends up being a very entertaining video. Um, and you guys are going to be doing events just nonstop all the time. Uh, right. all this is basically this month was like the only month that we relax a little bit. Bro, we don't get to relax. We get like the last week off of this month. Huh? We should do another podcast. I said that. Oh, wait, was he gone for that? We'll talk about it in a minute. Um, But then you can find you guys on Facebook.com slash the LARP Brothers or something else I was going to plug for you. Oh, if you're interested in LARPing, what's the Facebook page for that? Uh, There's different ones, but if you're in Florida slash half of Georgia... Uh, yeah, the Kingdom of Neverwinter for Amp Guard. Uh, yeah, just search the Kingdom of Neverwinter, and you'll find it. It is our Amp Guard Kingdom that we just got uh, brought into officially. So we're officially in the Shire of the Kingdom of Neverwinter. Our Shire is Ravenshurst. Uh, we've been up and running for about four months now. And, yeah, there's a bunch of other parks. There's probably one if in the area. If you're remotely interested in LARPing, it seems like there's a park kind of everywhere. Well, Florida, at least. If you're anywhere in Florida, you can odds are you can find a park within, like, an hour or so of you. Yeah, and that's... Look the, into it, because it might be five minutes from you. <laughs> yeah, I, had, I took my uh, car in to get an oil change, and the guy who brought me back to take a look at the car while they were working on it Saw my, because I always keep a flyer on my dashboard. He's like, oh, I didn't know you played Amp Guard. I used to play Amp Guard. People everywhere. Yeah. And even one of our, our newest, or one of our best members was an old timey LARP guy, or Amp Guard guy. Yep. And He's, it was just like, I wonder if there's a park. Oh my God, there's a park. <laughs> right <laughs> like, down the street. Minutes from him, right? Because yep. they live in this area. Yeah, they live like the next street over. <laughs> Who? Ski. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, just look. And the best part is, if there's no LARP park around you, well, that sucks. But you can also just make your own. You can do it. that's what we did. Yeah. Like, our, we would have had to drive about an hour and a half. I don't want to drive an hour and a half every week. And we had a, a decent amount of people to where we could be like, hey, let's start this thing, try and recruit people. We kept recruiting people, kept recruiting people. Yeah, if we, have, if we had people show up, we'd have, like, big numbers. We'd have uh, the next level up in park status at least if not the one it's, above it it's fun look into it and then in my neck of the woods uh i just started a new i didn't even told you guys about this yet i don't know if you saw it on facebook uh but because in a few months i am having a baby uh kimberly's mm-hmm. having a baby <laughs> i'm not i was I'm gonna, gonna say that needs to be a youtube series i am fucking doctor <laughs> <laughs> i have started a new project i am calling project 168 I have installed 168 plus video games on my computer, and I'm gonna try my damnest to get through all of them. <laughs> Before the baby born? Yep. What the? Oh, f- we have an intruder. The oh. fuck is that? Oh, Dude's walking into my house. Okay, Shut good. Up. Like he owns the place. We're, we're ending the podcast, so uno momento. Shut up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I started the project, Project 168. I'm gonna play as many video games as I can. I'm gonna get through them all. Um, we also... You fucking grumpy old man. Yeah, Lance is over here now. Lance just opened a soda on the goddamn podcast. Oh, opened a beer. Is that a beer? America, you want one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Damn beer. Oh, All right. on the podcast. Right, you, you can find me at Facebook at Jerry Brooks, Twitter Jerry Brooks 42, Instagram Jerry Brooks 42. I'm about to go get a beer. He's got to get a beer. And if you're interested at all, we've started another goddamn podcast called The Few True Gamers Podcast. Check it out. It's on iTunes, Google, and YouTube. We're going to live stream it every Sunday on Twitch. 
And uh, yeah, look us up. It'll be at twitch.tv slash best in the realm. You can find me on YouTube, best in the realm, Twitter at best in the realm, Instagram, best in the realm, Facebook.com slash best in the realm gaming. Where can they find you, Brian? Uh, on Brian Man at, uh, on Brian at <laughs> it's late. Um, oh, I get to go last. You can find me on Twitter at Brian25. You can see all my tweets of Nothing. all three of them. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Brian1138. Um, that's fairly active. And, uh, and of course, the Lark Brothers. And yeah, Lark Brothers on Facebook. Uh, Facebook.com slash the Lark Brothers. Yep. And we've got this Wednesday uh, the talk before the walk. We've got a big uh, invasion event going on this weekend, and we're giving both of the parks their opportunity to uh, kind of get their final say in before the actual event. And uh, we're basically just going to run commentary on people shit talking That's in the awesome. comments. So. <laughs> and uh, if you want to find all this stuff, you don't want to go to all these other fucking places. There's so many places to go. You can just go to futurevillains.com. That's F E W T R U E V I L L A I N S dot com. You can find everything the gaming, the LARPing, the wrestling. We're doing all three things now, Brian. It's exciting. We're doing it all. And we. Oh, God, Brooks left. How are we going to end the podcast? We gone. Live LARP life. <laughs>